Some people ask me, what does it mean that my kidneys leak protein, or why there is protein in my urine? In this video, we'll talk about it. Why do we even care about protein in the urine? It's because uncontrolled diabetes can harm kidneys, make them leaking protein. If your kidneys leak protein, you should take medications to protect kidneys from further damage. There are two types of medications for this. One is ACE inhibitors. Some examples are lisinopril, enalapril, benazapril. Their names all end with pril, P-R-I-L. The other type of medication is called ARB. Some examples are losartan, varsartan, erbisartan. Their names all end with sartan, S-A-R-T-A-N. We use a marker called urinary albumin to creatinine ratio. It is the ratio between albumin and creatinine urine. Here, albumin is a type of protein that's commonly leaked from kidneys. Creatinine just tells us the amount of the urine. When we try to decide whether there is too much albumin, we need to take into account the amount of urine. That's why creatinine comes into play. For most people, this marker should be less than 30. If it is high, it means your kidneys leak protein. Now let's look at example. This is a lady with type 2 diabetes for more than 5 years. Her diabetes has not been well controlled over the past year. A1C has always been above 7, sometimes even above 9. Her urinary albumin to creatinine ratio was 27 a year ago. Now it's 56. So what happened here? Her kidneys has been damaged by the high blood sugar and now start to leak protein. She really needs to control her diabetes better. We also started lisinopril 5mg a day to protect her kidneys.